The site is located adjacent to the Triple S site, site. So in order to reflect the, the biodiversity nature of the site, we've incorporated a living wall on the east elevation facing onto the Triple S I site. We've been working with the biodiversity team at the university to ensure that we specify the right species to use in that wall so that we don't cause any harm to the Triple S I site through any cross-pollination. We've also included some sparrow nest boxes on the north elevation, again with the biodiversity officer's advice. My name's Ben Sampson, I'm biodiversity officer for the university. That means sort of encouraging wildlife onto the Bay campus here in Singleton. Uh, and particularly looking after Crumlin Borough's site of special scientific interest, the, the area of sand dunes and salt marsh right alongside us at, at the Bay Campus in right next to the uh, active classroom. I've been involved in the project helping with the, the living wall, selecting a suitable list of plants that will provide nectar and pollen for pollinating insects to bring wildlife onto the campus here and crucially things that aren't going to cause problems by escaping and trying to take over the triple SI next to us. To do that we're going to be working with, with local school children collecting local seeds as well as plants that have been brought on elsewhere, including the very rare field wormwood which lives in Crumlin Burrows here, one of the few sites in the country where this plant survives. It's been taken away, reared by the national expert in this plant and he's letting us have some of these plants back to, to put into the living wall here. We'll be able to keep a close eye on them, they should thrive there, hopefully produce seed that we can put back out into the wild again. Yeah.